weekend was marked a weekend of wellness by the Clear Lake Today First Nation. It featured various workshops, presentations, and performances, all to promote togetherness in the community. The Castan drummers were just one of the many performers taking part in the Clay Lake Tene Wellness Gathering at the Ure Tene Bio Building this past weekend. The weekend was a way for not only the Clay Lake Tene community to come together, but also surrounding First Nation communities as well. It's a wellness to bring our community together and to, to um, bring wellness into all our communities together. And we have other um, First Nations here with us, and um, it's... Uh, celebrating life and um, wellness in body, spirit, and mind. Everyone in attendance was moving along with the drummers and singers, and the atmosphere was one of unity and community. And the thing is that we all get together to help out each other so when we're having events so that, so that it's successful. I think it's important for them to, to, keep, up the, to keep up the culture and to know more to know who they are and their identity, you know, where they come from. Towards the end of the gathering, the Kitsuku Glit Drum Group came in to end the weekend with a bang, so to speak. Chief Gordon Alec of the Lake Babine Nation spoke about what it was like to be in Prince George amongst not only his own nation, but interacting with the other nations throughout the weekend. It's always nice to have that uh, togetherness, especially with other nations and different cultures, and the language that uh, has been proven to be uh, dying down, but right now it's picking up again, which is great. That sums it all is culture, language, and beautiful drum playing for the past two days, and the kids' entertainment was just awesome. Daryl Stranger, CKPG News. Coming up next, another look at the weather forecast.